Hey, this is Don Darling with the Register Guard, and I'm here with Sarah Grimm, a waste reduction specialist with Lane County. And we are touching base with her because they have a plastic recyclables roundup happening this weekend. Sarah's going to help me understand what we can bring to that. Um, well, what we can bring are number two, number four, and number five bottles, tubs, lids, and handles. The reason we are showing you so many bags full of material and you notice each bag is a single number and a different shape. We need it sorted by both number and shape. Uh, number two bottle is not the same for future use as a two tub. It needs to be separated and for every single number the different shape needs to be sorted within that number category. What's really most important is they must be 100% clean, and that means even the labels taking off. We've been getting a lot of calls about, well, how do I get that label off if I don't want to bother? Well, the processor um, does not have a wash line, so they depend on 100% incoming clean material. They're going to grind it and heat it and pelletize it to make a raw material for ma manufacturing. If there's pieces of paper, if there's a foreign type of plastic, in that, the manufacturer that bought it is going to have problems making a pure product of their own. And then they're going to get mad at the producer of the raw material, and then recycling systems break down if we cannot produce quality material for remanufacture. That's the foundation of recycling. It's not just to get rid of our stuff. It's manufacturing with materials that we gave them.